Rapunzel finds a friend. Long before Rapunzel knew she was a princess, before she left her tower for an adventure across the kingdom, she was a lonely little girl. Mother got how often left Rapunzel for days. And the only creatures that crossed her path were butterflies, bees, and the occasional bird. But butterflies are notoriously skittish. Bees do not like hugs. And no matter how many seeds Rapunzel gave them, the birds never stuck around very long. Since friends were scarce, Rapunzel did the next best thing. She filled each day with an exciting new activity. First, she tried painting. But her finished artwork didn't look as good as what she had imagined. Next, she tried baking. But he came out burned and black. Finally, Rapunzel tried gardening. But her seeds didn't sprout. Worst day ever, said Rapunzel. I can't paint, I can't bake, and I can't grow even one strawberry. But just as she was about to put away her shovel, Rapunzel noticed a strange pattern in the dirt. Looking closer, she realized they were footprints. Let's see where else they show up, she said. A few hours later, she found the same prints in her paint. When the prints appeared in her flower, Rapunzel knew something was up. This is a mystery, she said. I love mysteries. So from then on, whenever Rapunzel created art, she spilled a little paint. Whenever she baked, she scattered a little flour. Whenever she gardened, she sprinkled a little dirt. She wanted to see if the prints would reappear. And they always did. The Rapunzel still didn't know who was making the prints. She spent a lot of time practicing her hobbies. That's how she became very good at painting, baking, and gardening. One day, as she was picking strawberries, Rapunzel noticed an odd-shaped berry among the others. She reached for the berry, and it suddenly changed color. Before her was a small green chameleon frozen with fear. So you're the one who's been leaving the little prince, said Rapunzel. The chameleon seemed to nod. But how would she convince him to stay? My name is Rapunzel, said the little girl. I'll call you Pascal. Would you like some cake? Rapunzel learned that Pascal never said no to cake. And Pascal learned that Rapunzel was the best friend a chameleon could ever ask for.